Hey, what is up, guys? It is Shabba from the Everyday Gamers, and today I have another PC help video to hopefully help you guys out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open a PC save file without actually having Photoshop to open it for you. Um, there is a program called GIMP, and you and to get it, you um can just go to GIMP.org. It's going to be like a download button, like right here, or you, or you can just go to the down the downloads tab. And this program su supports uh, Windows XP, S3, uh, and and XP, X64, XP2, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1, and the rest of Windows. Okay, Windows this is like plugged in everywhere. Um. So basically, once you're on the the down the, the downloads page, there's going to be uh, download GIMP 2.8.10. If you're like doing this like in the next couple of months, uh, you, you're going to hit that, and it's going to download that. And once it's done, I will be back. Hey, what's up, guys? The um down the downloads finished. Uh, it, if you have a Google Chrome, there there is this, this uh. Helpful bar at the bottom of the of the screen. You um can either click it there and either start the setup or installation, or you can uh go into your downloads folder and it's gonna be there. I'm gonna click it here because I have Google Chrome swag. Okay, um, I might not be able to see the screen because of the user account control and all that stuff and doesn't like recorded. And um, once you open it, it's going to say uh, select the setup language. I'm guessing most of you are English. And then and once you're on this page, uh, you're going to hit customize. And I usually hit customize only only because pro programs tend to install stuff in the background, and I don't really like that. So I just hit customize just to make just, just to make sure that you are installing what I want you to install and not anything else like that like that PC helper stuff or, or, or that weather app. Nobody nobody likes that, right? And you just uh, hit hit next here. And all these are needed like the plugins and everything and the engine for GTK Plus. Just hit next. And just download all of this, and you will also want to download Adobe Photoshop Image, and then yeah, pretty sure that's it, and JPEG Image, all right? Yeah, that's it. Then hit next, and then hit uh, Create Desktop Icon. And if you don't, um, you can just like manually find it uh, in the pro in the programs file, right? Yeah. And then hit install next, and then install. It's, it's gonna in install. It's gonna go fa fairly quick, but I'm probably just gonna make a cut here, and I will see you guys once it's done. So guys, I'm back, and the download or or install, I mean, is uh, finished. So just hit finish, and it might op open it up. I don't think it will. So I'm gonna just search it up. Gimp. Here's GIMP. O open that up. It's gonna o open up the GIMP start start up. First time you op you op open it up, it's gonna open up this. Wait on wait on on to load. Don't don't you just love waiting on stuff to load? Don't you just just love when when it goes into a mode of not responding? Don't you just love that? I'll be, I'll be back once I have it all opened up. Hey, what's up, guys? We are back, and the program is not responding anymore. Well, it's responding, but it's not not responding anymore, if you understand my language that I'm speaking right now. Anyway, um, basically how you how you would go about opening a Photoshop file, you, you just want to hit File, then Open, and then... Gonna o o open up the open image screen. You're just gonna go on desktop, and it's gonna be a uh, third open. Open that up, and there's the overlay, same as this right here, right? Exact same. And um, it all it also has all the layers that I have here that I don't have open, 
but it, it doesn't exa exactly keep all the groups that I have it in. But, um, yeah. I'm like, uh, about this. And here it is. Uh, all the same groups and stuff. Like, if I remove some of this, then I added this again. You know what that says. Add these. And yeah, all, yeah, all that doesn't keep the groups. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, this is a really cool pro program if you would like to like start on some hum on something on Photoshop and then have your friend finish it on GIMP. It's a really cool cool pro program. I might end up using it. I might even tell friends about it. Hopefully, you guys tell your tell your friends about it. Um, I've never really used it, but I've, I've heard I've heard about it, and that's how I ended up making this video. And uh, I'm gonna close cl close it down now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something. Um, once again, this has been Shabba from the Everyday Gamers. See you next time.